How you doing everyone? My name is Ryan and this is Ade and welcome back to another edition of Box Talk. June 25th, Andy Joshua defends his IBF title against Dominic Brazil. Let's be honest, it's a fight me and Ade didn't want for Andy Joshua. We didn't think there was much worth in the fight. Still don't think there's much worth in the fight. But regardless, we have a fight at the O2. It's going to be a sellout, it's on Sky Pay Per View. Dominic Brazil's talking a big game. Saying he's going to take this fight to Joshua, well, guess what? He gets his chance. Mm. Adi, what do you think? Yeah, um, we, we kind of done a video about a month ago. No, maybe, maybe about seven, eight weeks ago when this fight was first announced. And we did kind of um, poop on it a little bit. And um, just because we want to see Anthony Joshua in better matchups. But in hindsight, you know, these are the kind of matchups you get. Every, every champion um, kind of gets a, a voluntary which people are not going to be so happy about. So we can maybe take back a bit. I want to anyway, kind of uh, take back a bit and say, look, it's a fight where Brazil is unbeaten. He's an Olympian. He's got a decent knockout record. That doesn't really mean much nowadays, but nonetheless, it's going to try and sell pay-per-views. And like Ryan said, he's been talking a big game. We just sat down now and watched the gloves are off. And again, mm. he was talking... A big game, what he's going to do in round one, two, three, four, yeah. five. And I'm thinking, this fight ain't gone that long, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about rounds that we ain't going to see. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when you talk, man. Yeah. I was thinking, so you got, he said, he's got, I'm going to hit Joshua in his arms, his yes. belly, his back. I'm going to go him everywhere and be all over him. Yeah. Joshua's going to stand there and take it. Just, yeah, yeah. Any, any time people rush Joshua, mm. they get hit as much as they try to get hit. One thing about Brazil, whether it's um, fake or whether it's uh, for TV or just this American brashness, he does seem very calm and relaxed. Hmm. You know, he's not doing the Charles Martin thing, I'm going to walk over you like a god and all those kind of yeah. silly statements or the Kevin Johnson. He does yeah. seem quite calm. And I wonder if that's because um, he thinks he can take Joshua. Joshua's still that person where a lot of heavyweights think he's not the finished article. Yeah. And we said this before, where they think, they still look at him and think there's something there. And I can imagine trainers and tapes, you know, Brazil's trainer, I don't know who it is, putting the tapes and saying, look, Look at that, he's left down. Yeah. So they're, they're still seeing things. They look at tactical. Force. And whether or not you can implement that is another thing, but I think they're seeing things. Joshua's tapes and Joshua's fights, whether he gets all the knockouts or not, where he's still making mistakes. Mm. And they're thinking, look, guys, he's not the finish article. He's not Klitschko. He's yeah. not even Luis Ortiz. There's holes there. He can't capitalize on holes. Yeah. I don't think so, but I still think there's holes. I, I'm not going to take back what I, what I said in the first video. I think Joshua and Brazil are in two different leagues, totally different leagues. I think the way the fight was set up originally where it gave us three options and we kind of said they're going to choose the easy option, that still stands. What's the options again? Stavern, Stavern, Brazil, and who was the other one? Was it Melik Scott? I can't, can't remember who the three were. But um, the point I'm making is, yeah, what was done was done. At, at, at Matchroom Sports, sold us, a, sold, sold us a card that you thought was going to be one of the top guys. No, it was, yeah, Stavern, wasn't it? it, was Stavern, it was Stavern, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we thought it would be Stavern and it wasn't and we got Brazil. Watching boxing, looking at all these fights, remembering the Olympics, remembering Brazil's fights that he's had. I've seen all of his fights, I think, or the majority of his fights. Brazil's not ready. And that's what it comes down to. Anthony Joshua, regardless if you think he's the finished article or not, is a top five, top six heavyweight in the world. Mm. That is just a fact. Brazil, to me, is not a top 15 heavyweight in the world. Yeah? Now, I understand that everyone gets a gimme fight here and there. And once you reach the top, you can't really go backwards. Brazil is not the top. I think Joshua is going to absolutely smash this kid. Yeah? And it won't go more than a couple rounds. Mm. I mean, that's the, that's the only thing I... That's the only thing I... Besides, we're going to get a good fight. Mm. Yes, it'll be good for the two rounds it is, or three rounds it is. But that's the only problem I have, is that I don't think this guy is really good enough to give any rounds to Joshua. I See, I've got to look at it from the business standpoint, and we've sometimes now started doing it in videos, and I hate doing it, but we've had to start doing it now because that's what boxing has become. It's become a bit, well, it's always been a business, but me and Ryan have always looked at it from the boxing purist standpoint. The business standpoint is that Joshua will sell three to four hundred thousand pay per views, mm. fighting nobodies. He yep. can do that, he's got that kind of power now. O2 Arena, 20,000. He's only had, what, 17 fights? Joshua? Yeah, like that. 16, 17 fights. You can't put him in with. I, I don't think you can risk that kind of commodity and he's one of the biggest in the world right now for boxing in terms of superstars when you think he's not the finished article. I don't think you can risk it. Okay, I, I, I understand that. But if you are ranked 
we have him at number six in our rankings. Mm. Others have him as high as number one. Yeah. If you're ranked that highly and you're the IBF champion, sure you can fight a Stavern, a, a, a Brian Jennings, um, a Pulev, guys that are around that, that ranking. Yes, I know Pulev fought a few weeks ago, so he went on the list, but the part I'm making is there are other options. Yeah? Anthony Joshua is a phenomenal talent. Phenomenal, let me get it right, is a phenomenal talent. Mm. Blessed with hand speed, punching power, he's got a good brain on him, and he, he fights, he, he, go, he goes to fight, he goes to end the fight. That's a boxer we all like and admire. He talks well, he looks well, he does things well for the public. He had a bad reputation previously from what he'd done as a kid, but he's turned it around. It's a good story. I understand how you sell that, I understand how you promote that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being the heavyweight champion of the world, the IBF title, the ch 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 IBF champion. Your number, you're highly ranked. Mm -hmm. Next time, Eddie Hearn needs to give us something different. Wow. I think it's too tough. That's not tough. I think it's too tough. No. I think it's too tough. I, I, think, think, it's I, think, I think Joshua's good. I'm, and his I'm, first defence, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with Brazil for your first defence. First defence, I, I don't expect top 10. No, I don't, I, expect, I don't expect it. I'm saying and that. a voluntary as well. Not a mandatory. Joshua, Joshua is, as far as, well, it might, might be a work in progress, but he's legit. Mm -hmm. He's legit. Yeah, but even legit fighters yeah. fight the voluntaries. You can just do it. Uh, no one's going to tell me when Floyd Mayweather fought Victor Ortiz that Victor Ortiz was a killer just because he beat okay. Berto. Malik's everyone fights bums, everyone. Malik Scott's not a top, rep ten, not a top 10 ranked fighter. Mm -hmm. If he fought Malik Scott, I'd be much more happier. Brazil is, could not stand up to it. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing I'm saying. I'm not saying you can't have an easy volunteer. I'm not saying you can't have a top 10, not a non-top 10 guy. But Brazil cannot stand up to it. Even though Brazil got a decision stopping over Amin Mansour, with Amin Mansour was cut, I'd rather see Amin Mansour than Brazil with Joshua. Mm. You get my point? I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you can't have warm up fights or easy fights, but not Brazil. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Go on. Then. Give me a prediction. There's no point going along on this one. How, how, what do you think? Joshua in three. Okay. Yeah, but more likely the second round. But Joshua in three. I think Brazil will come out, try to be confident. They're both big guys. They both respect each other's power. They'll play it long for a little bit. Joshua will get his timing down, and then he will explode all over Brazil and stop him. I think we might have a bit of a surprise here. I think we might have a bit of a surprise. I don't know, not surprising Brazil wins, but I think if Brazil catches Joshua, like we saw with Dylan White catching Joshua, it took Joshua, I know it's a different Joshua now because they had a fight after, couple of fights after, but it took Joshua at least four rounds to get that out of him. I think he got caught in the second yeah. and he stopped Dylan White in the seventh. Yeah. So it took him like, a while to get going yeah, again. Yeah, he, he, took, he took a round or two off. I think yeah, and I feel like if Brazil catches him, Brazil's what, 6'7? Six, seven? Yeah, 6'7, six, 6'8. Seven, six, Watching that gloves are off, I feel it's the first time watching Anthony Joshua talk to someone. Maybe he done this with Gary Cornish, where he seems to really underrate Brazil, I thought. And I think I think he's almost built into this thing as well about Brazil, that Brazil's really not on his level. Because he seemed to be almost educating him and schooling him, and like, if you yeah. do this and if you do that. Yeah. I'm looking at him thinking, you know that's the guy you're fighting, you're not yeah. your tutor. So I feel like there might be a bit of underrating there. And, um, a bit of arrogance. A bit of, I thought, for the first time ever, I thought there was a bit of arrogance with Andy Joshua. Could be wrong. That's what I picked up on it when I saw. And I feel like, let's see if Joshua gets caught by a big man. Dylan White was a big man, but Dylan White isn't like these guys. Yeah. Dylan White's, what, 6'3", maybe? 6'3", three, 6'3". Six, three, these guys are walking at 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, They're big, big guys. If Brazil catches him, and we know he's put 15 guys down. People might say 15 bars, but regardless, 15 guys have fallen down and not got back up again. I thought this could go to the later rounds, six, seven. That's what I think. See, here's the thing about I've seen Brazil go down before. Yes. I've seen him hurt before. Yes. I've seen him. Uh, I, I, okay, I'm not saying you're supposed to be body beautiful. Everyone doesn't have great genetics to be body beautiful. But when you're talking about a professional athlete, a heavyweight, six, seven, mm. an Olympian, that's your that's your full time job boxing. He doesn't seem to have the conditioning of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an elite athlete. And he this type of fury. Yeah, you get I my point. You're distant, yeah. I don't see you have a six pack. I, I, I look at Dominic Brazil, yes he could box, but I don't look at him and see he's very technically sound. I look at him, I think, okay, he moves well, but he's a little heavy on his feet. I look at him and just see that he's just, a, he's... All right, is he better than Charles Martin? Charles Martin, Charles Martin had an unknown quantity to him. Is he better than Charles Martin? No. Interesting. No. Yeah, he has a, Charles Martin had an unknown quantity to him. A lot of fights weren't marquee. The fights we did see of him, which we must probably found those videos of him, mm -hmm. he looked decent, but again, there was short, there was highlights, there were little bits and bobs. 
Brazil's had the advantage of being on primetime American TV all the time, which means we got to see him fully what he's worth. And because I've seen him multiple times, I, 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 like I said, I can't give him a high rating. All right, so you're going 2-3, did you say? 2-3 for Joshua. I'm going 6-7 for Joshua. I expect it to be a bit more interesting than everyone thinks, but I wouldn't be shocked if it ends in 10 seconds. Like, lights out. I wouldn't be shocked if it just lights out. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if... And Joshua... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm <laughs> shocked if it lights out. All right, there you go, guys. Uh, quick one. Joshua, Brazil, June 25th. June 25th. Pay-per-view, busy card. We might review some of the other fights on the card later, actually, but busy card. Eubanks on it. Yeah. George Groves, Murray's on it. I think a couple of others are the matchroom fighters below are on it. So, yeah, it goes down. But what next for Andy Joshua? I mean, if Ryan is right and he blows his kid out, do we accept another Dominic Brazil, Charles Martin type? Or do we, you know, they always talk about Glaskov maybe getting the chance because of what happened yeah. with him. Do we accept a Glaskov? Glaskov is better than Brazil. So you'd be happy if Glaskov's to fight in December? No, if, if that gets announced, yeah. you'll be happy with it. I, I won't complain about it. I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's the fight I want, but I'm, at least it's something that someone's that's actually there. Okay. Interesting. All right, there you go, guys. Leave the comments below. Tell us what you think. What are you going with me, 6-7, or Ryan, 1-2, blowout? Tell us what you think. Leave the comments below. Peace.